always not doing a video review of a point and shoot camera. Oh no! Yeah, yeah, yeah actually I am. Uh, hello, another video from the Angry Photographer. Um, I'm kind of hesitant to make this video because this camera is uh, not expensive. It is damn expensive. Um, but I owned its earlier cousin. It is the Sony DSC RX100 Mark III. Yeah, that's a mouthful. Um, I'm not a big fan of point and shoots. Um, obviously, you can't carry around a huge DSLR everywhere you go. Although, I kind of come close to it sometimes. So do some people. But, if you ever wanted, uh, obviously not the performance. There's no point and shoot that's going to, uh, uh, jump through as many hoops as uh, even you know a cheap DSLR for many obvious reasons. Uh, the one point and shoot camera that I do recommend because it beats the dog crap out of everything else out there. Not my opinion. Even Canon's best. Canon's kind of always ruled the roost when it came to super sharp, super advanced point and shoots. But uh, actually the point and shoot that has received unquestionably the highest reviews across the board was the earlier cousin to this. That was the Sony DSC RX100 Mark II, which I used to own and got rid of for no good reason. Um, other than the time I wasn't using it a lot and I knew the Mark III was coming out with a lot of new features. They removed the hot shoe off the Mark III here and they included the first of its kind and the first generation of anything is usually not good by the way here we have uh, the pop-up flash okay it is a uh, Carl Zeiss lens now the equivalent on this something that needs to be said a lot of point and shoots are bad and they're especially bad when it comes to macro shots and I love macro I am a macro slut now the working range on this one is just under two inches. It's 1.97 uh, inches, and uh, here we go. Let me show you a test shot from earlier. Here we go. Let's uh, zoom in, zoom out. There we go. I mean, you can. I'm not gonna take the shot, but you can get in this close. Like I have a really really intricate uh, wristwatch and I can you know get up just under two inches on it and taking macro shots with a point and shoot is really so important but a new feature and the first ever on a point and shoot that this camera has is a pop-up OLED viewfinder you pop it up and then you pull it out there's also a diopter correction here for wearing glasses and uh, go ahead and hit it there you obviously can't see through it uh, I was going to try to see see if you could actually see part of it. No, you can't. Uh, nevertheless, it has a actual facial sensor for when you actually bring your face up close. It uh, actually, there we go. I'm pretending like my face is there. You can't really see it. It doesn't look good to you, but it uh, is absolutely supreme. It is divine. I mean, this uh, point and shoot is just a cat's ass. Um... Uh, another thing that's really important on this, not only does it have a beautiful macro feature, by the way, here we go and close up the OLED viewfinder. Here we go, turns the camera off. Um, but it's an equivalent of a 24 to 70 on the lens at f1.8 to f2.8. So you want to talk about fast! Uh, awesome low light. It is a 20.1 megapixel with the pop-up, uh, as I showed you, the pop-up SVGE OLED uh, electronic viewfinder with 1.44 million dots on that pop-up viewfinder. It has a built-in three-stop neutral density filter, and it has a full one-inch sensor. As I showed you, the diopter correction up there at the top of the uh, OLED viewfinder. Let me turn it on. Um, unfortunately, I wouldn't recommend actually paying full price. The price is probably going to come down. I actually found somebody that was smoking crack at the time and marked this one for $520. Current B&H price on it is $800. Um, if price is no object to you, I'd recommend getting this. Now, you want to talk about incredible. You think the manual for all the stuff you can do on the professional Nikon uh, D810 is convoluted and extremely huge 
Um, it is equal, if not more so, on this little point-and-shoot camera than it is on your D7100 or the D810. I uh, kid you not. Um, does have a flippy screen, which... You know, I'm not a big fan of because they're fragile, but I actually know how to take care of my stuff. But, let me point it back at my ugly freaking ass here. And here we go. Here we go. Oh, you can't see me. Anyway, I'm behind another point and shoot, filming a point and shoot. Paradox there. Ta da! Here we go. So, we have a built in a flippy screen where uh, it makes, especially doing selfies and uh, little self videos for YouTube um, extremely handy whoops I uh, got the cable caught underneath there not a good thing one thing you gotta be careful about on flippy screens is that they are fragile of course um, like I said the menu on this thing is just absolutely friggin incredible it is as convoluted as a uh, any uh, of your current uh, pro and uh, professional amateur Nikon DSLRs. Um, the f I mean, I, you can make about a hundred videos on what this uh, little point-and-shoot camera does alone. It's absolutely incredible. And uh, while well, I first thought it was gimmicky until uh, many months ago, I uh, saw the pop-up OLED viewfinder myself. Let me. There we go. And I put my hand over it as if my face were there. Uh, the pop-up OLED viewfinder and uh, the information that it actually gives and the f-stop and the exposure. You can actually do time exposures on this. Um, I, I don't know what I can else other than I can say about this camera. You can read all the specs online. I mean, nobody wants a super long diatribe on this on a video. I mean, just read the text specs and if you want sample images, you know, just do a Google search for the sample images on this. So lovely that I can wear my glasses and cut right up here as a diopter adjustment a knob for adjusting to your glasses. Like I said, here is the pop-up flash right here. Here we go. Um, this is the only point you should recommend. The only unfortunate thing is, like I said, it is $800. Oh my god. Yes, I know, that's extremely expensive. and. I'll be the first person to agree with you. It is extremely dense. I've, you think I've handled a lot of Nikon DSLRs. I've handled just as many point and shoots. It is the densest point and shoot I've ever had my hands on. Um, I absolutely love the crap out of it. You're not packing around a DSLR. And money is no object, if money is no object. I say it's just damn expensive. I mean, I don't know if I can actually say it's worth $800. It is, and it isn't at the same time. It is incredible. There's absolutely nothing out there that comes to it. This lit is literally like the Nikon D4S of point and shoots. And my God, is the lens fast. 1.8 to 2.8 f-stop equivalent range like I said the lens is equivalent to a uh, 24 to 70 if we're talking about uh, like 35 millimeter focal length and a full one inch sensor amazing 20.1 megapixels um, low light capability is absolutely incredible it, it is incredible all the way around they've only got a couple beefs with it is that you uh, if you use the OLED viewfinder and you pop it down it automatically turns the camera off so if you want to switch between there and the uh, the viewfinder the view screen in the rear you have to turn the camera back on so that's a gripe but Sony talked about possibly changing that in the firmware but the fact that I can do macro shots literally this friggin close that is a winner uh, that I mean it, it blows the shit out of everything else out there as so far as a uh, beautiful creamy macro shots out of a point and shoot and I absolutely love that the flippy screen is going to be awesome for uh, doing YouTube videos I'll be able to crank it around and do uh, selfie YouTubes however nobody wants to see my face even myself I hate to see my face even more so than anybody else um, but my god, the lens is just so darn fast. It's just incredible. Um, here's some sample shots I've taken. Um, so if you've got the money, 
Um, I give a highest recommendation to this, the Sony DSC RX100 Mark III. I asked the person that sold me this at Best Buy, I said, why is it marked so low? Because that's basically $300 off. And when I bought it, it looked brand new, and he said he had no idea. I think somebody mismarked it, so that's the reason I bought it. So would I have paid $800 for it? Well, considering that's more than the cost of a Minty factory refurb Nikon D7100, probably the answer would be... Uh... Maybe, because I was planning on buying one anyway, but when I saw the incredible crack-smoking price on this open box with absolutely zero flaws whatsoever, I mean, I just had to buy it. I had to buy it right on the spot. Someone had mismarked it. And you have HDMI out. Um, same thing on every other point-and-shoot. SD cards. Little battery right here. Little gumshoe battery. Um, you get about 330 shots out of it. I recommend purchasing another battery. The only piss and moan that I have is that there is not an external charger. You have to buy that separately for it. Sony's kind of infamous for that, but uh, this camera is freaking incredible. So, glad I could bring this to you. Highest recommendation. I'm not a big point and shoot fan, but this is basically better uh, than, like, say, a D3000 or a D5000 series. It's a phone. It's like basically pack around a D5000 series. Uh, Nikon DSLR obviously can't pot do as many tricks, but you know, for packing it around inside uh, the pocket, I mean, it's just freaking incredible. So that's my point and shoot review. It could have been a crappy review, whatever. It was kind of off the cuff, but I wanted to tell you about that because I uh, I do tons and tons of inspections on all the point and shoots, and I can assure you I do know what the hell I'm doing when sniffing around point and shoots and. This camera is absolutely freaking incredible, and the big minus, of course, it is expensive as hell. But my god, my god is it incredible. And the macro shots, and my god is the lens fast. And that pop-up OLED, OLED viewfinder, in freaking incredible. Just absolutely amazing. So, thanks for watching. Another video, you, video review from the Angry Photographer. If you like this, you can send me a buck or two. You're telling me to go screw myself. Obviously, this isn't a camera for everybody because it is very expensive. Like I said B&H, I think, currently is $7.99 on this camera. Oh, my God. Yeah, I know. I agree with you. Thanks for watching. And catch